So by the end of this year, I will have spent more than half of it juice fasting. Seven months-ish it will have been. And you're probably wondering, why is this guy spending so much of his life not eating food and drinking juice? Well, the reason is, I think, or I know at this point, that I am a little bit more damaged, gut-wise, than your average 30-year-old. And the reason for that is uh, my less than stellar lifestyle that I was living before. See, from what I see online, most people around my age do a 90-day juice fast, there or thereabouts, 90 to 120 days, and then they completely clear. All of their mucoid plaque is gone, and they're empty, and then they can start eating raw foods and build themselves back up. For me, I've spent over 120 days juice fasting this year, and I'm still not clean. I can still feel I have some blockages. Not too much but it's still there it impedes the way I breathe and it's just generally a nuisance in my life now you might be wondering what sort of diet causes that kind of damage and let me just show you food that I love to eat or what my parasites love to eat or me and my parasites all love to enjoy is beige food. Sausage rolls, bread, instant noodles, microwavable burgers, McDonald's, Burger King, KFC, shit, junk and crap. And the problem is if I don't be very strict with myself that is what I want to eat. Like that is the food that naturally I will gravitate towards it in an addictive manner. And it's not good. I would sometimes, here's an example um, of something disgusting that I did. I got a bread roll, like a long baguette, crusty roll, and then I put a sausage roll inside the roll, and then I cooked up some instant noodles, put it on top of the sausage roll inside the bread roll, and then covered it with cheese. Now that is the sort of food that kills people or that degenerates eat and un unfortunately that's what I like doing. So you can see how much of a degenerate I am and all that food on top of the you know the three litres of cider every day is just crippling alcohol addiction. It's just a recipe for dehydration, gut rot and mucoid plaque. Luckily though in the last few months I've, um, I've managed to reset my appetite so I actually am enjoying eating fruit and raw foods now. Um, I probably have one cooked meal every two weeks and then generally I eat fruit. So I'm getting a lot better. And that brings me on to the next phase in my healing adventure. So as you can see, I am not in Australia right now, which is where I was. I'm in Thailand. I just flew here yesterday. Um, I tried to do a 90 day juice fast in Australia, but with work and just the stress of living in hostels, I only managed to get to 35 days. I thought to myself, what I'll do is I'll break it here and then I'll spend my life and time saving money um, so I can go to Thailand and do a 90 day juice fast. Um, at the moment I'm in Phuket, I'm uh, just here to see a friend because I've got a friend who's living here. Um, but next week I'm gonna fly to Chiang Mai and once there, I'm gonna rent an apartment, buy a juicer, settle down for three months and do a 90 day juice fast. Which is very exciting for me. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be documenting it on YouTube, the whole thing, um, and on Instagram and wherever else I feel like posting things. Um, 
it's not necessarily it doesn't necessarily feel great to document such a personal thing at the time but when i look back on it i'm really glad i put it out there because it helps people and it's really nice to watch it back to see how far i've come because the position i was in one year ago compared to where i am now is such an astronomical difference that 96 day juice fast completely changed my life so um, it only stands to reason that the next 90 days is going to be an incredibly transformative experience as well so please join me on this adventure and we will see where it goes now i don't necessarily think it's going to take another 90 days to get the rest of the mucoid plaque but let's just see what happens in 90 days right like there are these stories of people who have gone a long time on just liquids where they've been unable to stay inside their body and they're spontaneously astral traveling and just the levels of health that people can reach stories of people that have a resting heart rate of 30 beats a minute with two breaths per minute and all this crazy stuff i want peak health so we'll see if we can get it i just want to get some bonus um footage of the first time that i visit a fruit and vegetable market in thailand i want to see how much different the quality of fruit is. I'm really excited about the uh, about the fruits here. So we'll see. It's proving surprisingly difficult to find a fruit market. Maybe I'm up too early. It took me a while, but I found it. <clears throat> wow. Don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. <laughs> it's banana heaven. God, they look a bit worse for wear, don't they? And these. They've seen better days. It smells really banana-y. Obviously. As expected. Ah, oh, I've spotted some melons. I'm gonna get one of these. Oh, hello. How much for the melon? Ah. Hello, my friend. How much for the melons? Yeah, can I choose? Can I, I'll choose. I want to get a nice one. That looks like a beauty. I'll have that. Thanks, mate. Okay. Sure. Use 400 change? Thank you. Just insulted the guys if he doesn't know how to do maths. That was my way of telling him to keep the spare coins. I wasn't being patronizing for the guy. Keep their coins. Just here you go. You can keep that. Thanks, mate. Have a nice day. I need to learn to say thank you in Thai and some other stuff. Wow.
It's melon madness. But anyway, stick around if you want to see me do a juice fast and we'll see what happens.